Get up here. A giant. A <laughs> couple of casts in the morning. Mm, probably a 14 incher. On the Jackal Rhythm Wag. Rhythm Wag. Brand new bait I just picked up from Hayward Bait and Tackle. I'm trying it out because I had some uh, viewers recommend it. The Rhythm Wag by Jackal. This is the four and a half sexy albino. It's like three casts with the hover rig. And it is a beautiful looking bait. Little split tail on there. Hopefully you guys can see that. This thing just glides all over. Hopefully be able to see it in the water. I mean, I'm not moving my rod tip and you can see how much that bait just wants to dart side to side. It really looks good. Like I said, that was probably my third cast of the morning. I, uh, <clears throat> I sound froggy because I just got up. It's about 6.30. I've got not even probably an hour. The boys usually get up at 7. They'll want to know where I'm at. So I got about an hour. I got one GoPro, chesty GoPro. I've got one battery in it. And generally, because I buy the cheap batteries off of places like eBay that are not GoPro batteries, they last like 45 minutes. Uh, and you can see we have lots of mosquitoes with us this weekend. So it's Memorial Day weekend. It has been terrible. The mosquitoes have been absolutely terrible. So we have not fished much. We've done a lot more boating where we've got little uh, like, you know, little floaties and stuff. So we go out in the middle of the lake and the kids can swim. So we've done a lot more of that than fish. Ooh. <laughs> uh, so it's been a pretty ridiculous weekend, but God, this thing looks good. I'm sure you guys probably can't see that, but it's straight up soft jerk bait back and forth. It comes right through these new pads that are growing. Uh, we've got a lot of little fish that are swimming in these areas they're they're not from what i can tell again i haven't fished much from what i can tell they still haven't spawned yet the ice only came off a couple of weeks ago uh up here so i haven't seen any beds but a lot of times these big back shallow backwater bays can be really good places to fish early spring so that's what we're going to give a try like i said we don't have much time i wanted to come out and try this bait i wanted to come out and see if i could do a video for you guys and we're going to see what we can do. I really like how that looks. That tail, that double tail just twitches. Very, very lifelike. This is probably dumb, but it looks kind of good in there. Oh, God. Oh, that was a nice one. Oh, dang. I don't know. if I would have been able to get that guy out. Dang. I feel like it's landlocked. I don't even know how they get in there, but they get in there. Another little guy. Lose the big one. And we catch a couple of chunky little guys. Fix our hover rig. Just starting to get a little torn up, but he's still pretty good. So a couple of things to point out, guys. I need your help. I need your help. The, uh, the hover rig is at Tackle Warehouse right now. We got two sizes in. Ooh, that was a pike. That was a pike. He just got me. Okay, I'm gonna retie. Okay, we just got retied after getting bit off. And what I was saying is I need a little bit of your help, guys. We uh, just got in the tackle warehouse. We would love to make the hover rig a bestseller. 
And in order to do that, we need your help. So we uh, have got the 364th ounce, we've got the eighth ounce size, and we've got four new sizes as well coming into Tackle Warehouse. So depending on when you watch the video, they may or may not be there. But in either case, I wanna make it a top seller. I wanna make it a top seller. And if that happens, I'm gonna make a little plaque with the bait, put it on the wall. I think it would be so cool to have that. Uh, but the bait deserves to be there. We feel like this is a, a technique that is truly unique. It's a, it's a crazy design that pretty much can be used with almost any plastic. It really definitely gives a life to a lot of different baits. I mean, it's, it, and it's a technique that can be used from shallow to deep to suspended fish in between. You can really throw it just about anywhere. And we want to make the technique stick. And in order to make it stick, we feel like we got to make it a Tackle Warehouse top seller. So if you haven't thrown it yet, you might want, oh, here comes one. You might want to think about picking some up because I really do think it's a technique that you'd enjoy fishing because it is such a laid back technique. It's a great finesse technique. But again, we have the little bit heavier sizes that you can flip with and fish deep with. So we feel like there's a hover rig that fits like everybody's personal favorite techniques and their strengths. Most people would say I'm nuts for fishing a hover rig into some heavier stuff that, that I'm fishing. Not that this is real heavy, but it is a pad field. But one thing that's awesome is this hover rig, because it's I'm using it with a soft jerk bait, basically comes through it as a soft jerk bait. Like if you were rigging a Texas rig soft jerk bait. Now the one thing it doesn't come through great is a little stringy grass, because you've got 90 degree hooks, so that 90 degree hook that sticks up likes to grab the grass. But you can walk it through pad stems like I'm in right now extremely well. You'll have no problem at all with that. I can assure you of that. Um, and you can fish it in so many different ways. I'll do videos later on about the different ways you can fish it, but what we're finding is almost, there's no right or wrong way to fish this thing. There really isn't. You, you, you can let the bait do all the action itself because on the fall it will glide and dance and trigger the fish to strike from that standpoint what do we got bass come here another nice probably a small keeper here in wisconsin 14 incher Bait popped out, just gonna pop it right back in. Lock it in place. And that's that's what's so cool about this technique. This this rig just completely we will save you money. That's all I'm gonna say. You will go through a lot less baits than you normally would. Um, especially with soft plastics. I mean, this is the rhythm wag by Jackal. Very soft plastic. You know, a lot of our best plastics, and this is going to be dangerous, but we got that last bite in a little pond. Uh, a lot of soft plastics that, you know, are some of our favorites these days are the softest ones on the market, and the softest ones don't tend to last much more than one fish. But assuming you don't get bite off by pike, you can throw them for a while a lot of times. You catch a pile of fish on them, both this as well as the tush. I mean, the tush... You can put a Kitec on and catch a dozen fish on a little 3.3 Kitec when a lot of times you get one fish per bait. So we're trying to create products that are helping people catch fish, helping people save a few bucks in the meantime, and we need your help. Let's make it a Tackle Warehouse bestseller. We appreciate all the support we've gotten from all of the viewers, it's time to try to make it a mainstream bait. So I'm gonna stop preaching, I'm gonna get back to fishing. I got a, a little bit of time left, but I'll put the links up in the video description to the Tackle Warehouse site so that you can go pick them up if you feel so inclined. Maybe you've been using them 
and you need a few more, maybe you haven't tried one yet, but here's your time. Go to Tackle Warehouse, buy whatever it is that you want to buy and throw a pack in just to, just to give it a whirl. I really think you'll be impressed. It's, uh, God, the feedback has been so good. That's what makes this so, so rewarding for us. That was, I've said it before, and I, I said I'd stop preaching, but I said it before that my biggest, the biggest thing that concerned me about this whole thing was uh, like not having people like the baits that we make and not being able to catch fish with them. But the feedback has been so overwhelmingly positive that I, uh, it went from being the biggest stress to being like the biggest reward. When we get pictures of people who are catching like PBs and just lots of good fish or they were struggling and now they're catching a lot of fish it's so good all right guys i'm gonna get back to fishing i got a few more minutes i've had a good morning already i want a couple more i want a big one i want one like we jumped off Not a giant, but another small keeper, 14 inch or keeper. Well guys, my battery is about ready to die. This little guy right here, I definitely approve of, Jackal Rhythm Wag. You can see it's holding up quite fine. We're still catching a lot of nice little healthy male bass. We did jump off our one best fish of the day, which was a little bit disappointing. But honestly, with that fish, I don't even know that I would have been able to get it out of the little pond where I had caught it. Uh, just to kind of close out the video here from a fishing standpoint, I'm using the 364th one aught core tackle hover rig hook with the Jackal Rhythm Wave. I've caught a pile of fish. You can see it's still holding up just fine. And I'm fishing this a lot like a uh, soft jerk bait. You know, it's got a little bit of weight, which I want because it's allowing me to kind of swim that bait through a bunch of the lily pads that are starting to grow up. So it's working really well for that. You know, there's a lot of different ways to fish this thing. As we've talked about, it is a very new technique that I think we're all still really kind of just still figuring out. But don't be afraid to get it up in some of these lily pads. It doesn't work great in stringy grass because the stringy grass does get around a lot of the uh, the 90 degree jig hook, but you can definitely swim it around like heavier stock stuff. Like I can swim it around milfoil and stuff like that just as much as pad stems or cattail or uh, bulrush or buggy whips, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so if you've got a more stocky type plant to it, you definitely can fish it. Oh, dang it guys. A lot of little guys today. But you definitely can swim it around through it. And then what I'm doing is, you know, I'm swimming it through those pads, but we're back in a marsh area and there's a lot of deeper holes. So like the boat right now is in five feet of water. That bite was probably in, I'm gonna say a foot and a half of water. So then when I, you know, if I wanna fish some of these deeper edges and deeper holes, I can just let it fall, kind of do its thing, let it glide around or I can kind of swim it and I'm just kind of popping the rod tip, shaking it a little bit and the, the bait just kind of, there's another one, darting around just like that. Not a giant, not a terrible one. I probably shouldn't swing it. And from a tackle perspective, I'm throwing it. I've got eight pound leader to a 10 pound braid mainline. This is just a medium light rod. I am throwing a short, a real short uh, leader just cause there's no reason to have a long leader. I've got about a two and a half foot fluorocarbon leader. You definitely could go with a little heavier action if you want. This is just kind of what I had on and this is what I like working uh, this bait with. Like this is just kind of my standard thing. And personally, I don't mind throwing light gear and heavy conditions and i wouldn't call this heavy i mean that fish was basically uh you know in open water right in this spot but 
There's another one. I'm telling you guys, get yourself some core tackle hover rigs. Help us become a bestseller at Tackle Warehouse. I don't even know if this is going to be on it because I assume we're running out of battery life. But okay, another, I don't know, 15 incher core tackle hover rig in the mouth. And you guys have just seen me. I don't even know how many I've caught right now. Three, missed one, and we still got the same bait, good to go. We're gonna keep fishing. We're gonna keep fishing. We're gonna drive it, guys. We're gonna see if we can catch another one. But I really do gotta get back as well. And like I said, the battery, I, is it? it's showing 1% life. So go figure. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all of you. Link for the Core Tackle Hover Rig on Tackle Warehouse is in the video description. Get yourselves a couple of packs if you haven't already. We have fished 49 minutes right now. And I don't know what will make the video or not. We've had a lot of bites. I've caught several pike as well, which are in the live well. My dad said if I caught a couple, he wanted to pickle them. So we've done that. And there's another one. Little guys, but they are fun. Pike. Like I said, I caught a couple of pike too. <sighs> pike like core tackle hover rig. I don't even know if he was hooked. We're going to have to retie people. All right, I'm ending it on that green one. You can see, Dad, we got pickling, pickling pike. Okay, see you guys. Thanks for watching.